Hello everybody and welcome back to Victoria where this number is probably not reflective of reality. Yeah, that's a little bit better. <laughs> a little bit. Steel is currently expensive. Of course, we're working on a bunch of steel mills right now and that's absolutely fine. We also need to attack Egypt within the next eight years. We've been having a bunch of uprisings and native rebellions. We'll get those over with, but... We, we can't declare on Egypt while we've got these going on, sadly. I would like to be able to, but we just can't. So we need to get Egypt under our sway. And that is our current goal, of course. We're also working on getting regulatory bodies through, and we have a reasonable chance here. We're in the voting phase, and this is going to be... Well, we have a 46% chance. We'll see if it happens. Our steel mills are going to start wrapping up pretty soon here. Which is good. We know that steel is expensive. There's Bemba's capitulation. Cool. Wood is currently expensive as well. Okay. Oh, we're running a coal input good shortage. Well, we'll move up some coal mines here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There we go. And yeah, we do have some construction efficiency negatives right now. We definitely have a radicalism issue. There's no doubt about that. We need to deal with the radicalism. And we've got this advance going on here. 20% enactment success chance. Yeah, it'll happen pretty soon. I don't like that, that factory output reduction, but it'll have to do for now. The Free States of America, that's as opposed to the United States of America, want a trade agreement with us. We decline trade agreements. Cool. So Moravi is currently capitulated. Perfect. And apparently we have a front over here where nobody's doing anything. Let's send these guys on over there. They'll arrive in 10 days. Cool. And actually, we didn't need to do that. This front got wrapped up immediately. That's fine. I do want to get out of this war very swiftly here. Cool. And of course, we'll have no problem absolutely crushing them. That's pretty normal for these sorts of uprisings. So we'll get that done, no problem. And in theory, because of the colonization rights, we should not have additional uprisings for a bit. I hope. I hope. Ironclads have been unlocked. That's a lot of production methods, and we'll take a look at that in just a moment. Now, we have 36 reasons to not accept this peace deal at this moment. 22 reasons. Okay. French Republic conquering Constantine. Okay. For the time being, what I want to do is I want to go in and check on a few things. Taxation capacity, we know we're fine with. That shouldn't be a problem. Universities, we're actually still okay with for the moment. We can establish a colony in Congo, and so we shall. What else did we want to do? We wanted to check to see if we could incorporate anything. We can. British Yemen. Consider it done. And then we wanted to check in on infrastructure. Okay. So we're going to need some three in Sinai. We're going to need two in West Country and then one in each of these locations. We've got plenty being built in Hale for right now. So we don't need to work on that. So obviously, a third of our population being radicalized is not great. That's one of the reasons why we want to do regulatory bodies, though. That would definitely be useful. Decreases in standard of living. Okay. So our standard of living has been kind of awkward. Okay. There's the wars over. So at this point, we probably want to fight Egypt, right? Like, immediately. So we would need to make them into a... I think we want a puppet, not a dominion, right? What's the difference again? A puppet is a subject type that cannot start their own diplomatic plays, yet are forced to join their overlord's wars. Also must pay 30% of treasury income to their overlord each week. Okay. Yes. Whereas dominions are... More autonomous... They pay 25% in. So we want to make Puppet. That's going to be 63.3 infamy. And almost no one will be interested in it. 
Ottoman Empire and Darfur. We don't care about either of those. Now, we will face Egypt and Tripolitania. We still confirm this. So, this is Tripolitania over here. We know that we are at 68.6 .6 infamy right now. So, we want to hop over here. And we want to add additional war goals. We want to make Puppet Tripolitania. And we'll add that to primary, I think, too. Yeah, we'll add the infamy. Uh... Oh, we can't do that. We can't make that into a primary demand. Okay, so we'll add that in. Tripolitania abandoned Constantine. I wonder why. Why could they have done this? I have no idea. We're going to mobilize these guys on over here, and we're going to mobilize Alexander Murray and also George Morham. And he's going to come to the southern Egypt front. So this will be fine. Now, they're beginning conscription, and how many units can Egypt mobilize? We might want to begin conscription ourselves. So we are, in fact, going to do that. We're just going to go down the list here, and we'll mobilize everything. We'll conscript everything that we can. I want to make sure that this happens, and I do want to check in on those production methods. So one thing we may need to do eventually is cut down on our construction a little bit. We're having some economic issues at the moment. There's no doubt about that, and this war isn't necessarily going to be great for our economics. But I want to check through these real quick here. What do we got going on? Shipyards can move to steamships. That's going to increase the price of steel, but do it anyway. We're working on a lot of steel production right now. So that should be relatively okay. We're going to need additional steel production later. Steam trawlers is good, and steam-powered whalers will be fine as well. For our naval bases, we can go for ironclads, and that'll be fine. And let's subsidize all railways for the time being. Okay, so we know that we're pretty negative financially right now. Engines, mana wars, clippers, ironclads, coal. Yeah, I'm not shocked about this. So we're going to have to work our way through these input goods shortages. We have low market access in a lot of locations, but that's to be expected as well right now. We're probably being blockaded by some various shenaniganery. So that's all okay. So we're running a coal shortage right now, mana wars, clippers, and ironclads. So I want to check in on our shipyards. Right, we're on civilian shipbuilding. So we're going to go over to extensive military shipbuilding for our shipyards. And now we're just running a Mana Wars shortage. What are we actually using Mana Wars in? Naval bases. Okay, what production method is actually using Mana Wars? I think we just haven't shifted over to Ironclads. Yeah, I think that's the case there. So we're running an engines shortage. I'm actually surprised we haven't run into this previously. So over here in the Niger Delta, I'm just going to add in plus 20 for the moment to bring us up to the economy of scale cap. We'll see how that ends up working. I just want to make sure that all of these railways are still underway, and they are. So that'll be fine. A doctrine of iron and steam. Navy defense. Uh, we'll take the power projection, I think. Cool. There's regulatory bodies. That's excellent. So that's going to be very good for us. We want to start working up our workplace safety office. We are going to need more bureaucracy for that. Of course, we're rather high right now in our infamy. So we're going to need time for that to drop. And we're kind of high right now in our deficit as well. That's not the greatest thing in the world. But we'll definitely let these constructions finish up. I don't love the amount of construction efficiency that we're seeing, it's slightly problematic, to be sure. Now then, we do have this general that I'm going to mobilize and send down to this front. We could think about getting ourselves another general in the Senegal HQ, and Industrialist would be fine. We would mobilize him, and he would come on over here. Cool. So this war is going to be breaking out soon enough. And, of course, nobody's going to join this other than Tripolitania, who are not relevant in any meaningful way. 
So nobody comes in on this war. No shockers there. We are negative in our convoys right now. No shockers. Mostly that's due to our supply routes. Yeah, that's to be expected. So we could certainly think about expanding our ports. That is definitely a thing that we could think about. And we might want to, actually. How many convoys do we produce per port? So 2,000 divided by 150 is what? 2,000 divided by 150, that's 13 levels of port. Okay, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. That should do the trick there. And we're still building all of these things simultaneously. I love it. Do it. We've got inefficient agriculture. Okay, oh. sure. We'll follow their we'll follow their lead. Cool. Now, unfortunately, we are running maximum taxation right now, right? But we know that wood is expensive, explosives, steel, clippers. We're running a coal input goods shortage. We've got issues right now that we need to work our way through. So I'm going to bump up 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 additional coal mines here. And we'll get those constructed. We'll just continue to work on that coal input goods shortage. Now, we shouldn't actually be having... A Man of War's input goods shortage. Unless it's from outside of our territory, I suppose. Interesting. Because we should be swapping over entirely to ironclads. Now that's not a right away sort of thing. But we'll let that get going for the time being. We're running a pretty big deficit right now, but we're going to be chilling after this war. So that should be fine. How are these initial engagements going? Minus war exhaustion from... Okay, we're absolutely winning that engagement. Looks like we are here too. Yes, beautiful. So what are we going to go for next? Well, I think that we should leave the military for the time being. And we should work a bit on something like maybe even reinforced concrete for in increased construction sector throughput. Or open hearth process for the steel mills. And that is, I think, very valuable for us here. So we're going to grab that for the moment. That'll be absolutely wonderful. And, of course, we're going to chunk our way through Egypt without any real problems here. There's a Kazembe uprising. Okay. Whatever. That's fine. We'll grab these guys. Actually, we're just going to wait. And there's a Mysore revolt, proletarian revolt going on over here too. Sure. <laughs> I suppose that's to be expected. So I want to, I think, recruit another English general here. And we're going to send Oscar Lambert over here. And then we're going to recruit another Zanj general. Armed forces is fine. This is apparently Prince George of Hanover. Okay. We'll mobilize Prince George here, and he is off to advance this part. Okay. So we're not going to have a problem here other than the obvious financial one. Now, the majority of our issues here, actually, it comes down to multiple things. We've got a fair amount of interest building up. Subsidies are actually starting to get pretty expensive. So we should maybe think about unsubsidizing our railways. Now, that'll probably create some additional problems, but we'll do that for now. And I do want to check in on our institutions here. So we're on level four education. Let's work up our workplace safety office at the very least. Okay. So we need this to be... The, the reason why I went for subject here is we need Egypt to be a subject for the Veiled Protectorate. Otherwise, I would have gone for Conquest, but this is fine. So we're just going to push our way through here with no real problem. And yeah, we should arrive over here in time. I also want to reconquer Bhopal. We'll get back to that. But for now, we've got, you know, some uprisings to deal with. And we do need to deal with this financial situation. No doubt about that. So we're going to get these ports done. Running an ammunition shortage. Okay. 
An ammunition shortage is definitely something I want to deal with. So we're going to build in Gambia, I guess, because of the labor here. Or we could build in British Togo. It's less construction efficiency in Gambia. Yeah, we'll build 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. Okay. I don't know what our... Actually, we're doing okay for our market access, I think. No, our market access has dropped somewhat. Okay. Gold discovered in Guyana. Cool. No gold mines that we can build, sadly. There's a gold rush occurring. And we'll get the gold throughput. Beautiful. So obviously we need to get these wars wrapped up, right? There's no doubt about that. These two haven't started yet, but they will wrap up pretty quickly once they get started. And then those troops will be redirected over towards Egypt, which is already definitely well under control. In fact, they're getting pretty close to accepting peace deal here, I think. We want to puppet both of these and they won't accept this, but they'll get there. So we're going to need to get those munitions plants done. The steel mills are still being worked on. What else is currently expensive? Man of Wars, opium, that's expected. Wood, steel, coal, explosives. Yeah, there's just a lot of stuff right now. So we might want to think about dealing with that wood situation. We do have most of this pre-built, but we have a fair amount more that we can build, actually. Okay, let's wait until the war is over for that. Rubber discovered in Katanga. Okay. And let's keep it in Luba. That's fine. So more rubber being discovered is absolutely fine, right? We're keeping an eye on other expensive goods. We definitely want to get that Bessemer, or rather the open hearth process. We already have Bessemer process, I believe. So we're just making our way through these two fronts over here. No problem there. And of course... We're doing absolutely fine in these other wars as well. We look incredibly strong right now. But are we actually? Our problem right now is one of economy. We're getting heavily in debt, and we need to deal with that. Our taxation is very, very high. And that is also a bit of a problem. So we need to get these steel mills done. And we're starting to work on these lead mines in the background. Okay. More rubber being found. Cool. That is all absolutely wonderful. And we'll wrap up these wars over here relatively soon. The Egyptian war is going to be a little bit less soon. But I want these guys to actually move over to this front. Head on over there. And there's another native uprising. Okay. That's fine. We're not surprised about this. Native uprisings are not actually a problem. So Egypt actually just capitulated. So now all we're doing is fighting Tripolitania over here. Beautiful. That's absolutely fine. And once, in particular, Ralph Gregan gets dealt with, we're not going to have, like, once he gets demobilized, we're going to be doing much better financially. We're having some financial issues here. No doubt about it. We need to get out of these wars. The Veiled Protectorate is now over, and... Hmm. Who is this? Okay. Our relations towards Egypt would improve, or we could get influence and prestige. Which is what we'll do. So our war against Libya is going to be completed very shortly. I actually kind of want to demobilize Ralph here. But that's pretty expensive for four months. When is this war going to break out? And there's another proletarian revolt? Okay, I'm going to demobilize this guy. So Ralph is demobilized. That's fine. We're finding more rubber. No shockers there. And there's another proletarian revolt out over this way. That's fine. We should have the Mysore proletarian revolt dealt with very shortly. Kazembe, we want the colonization rights. We'll propose that peace deal, and they will accept that. So that's fine. Beautiful. Now, we definitely do need to get this demobilization dealt with, right? We've got this right now, 
earthquake relief, and that early demobilization is ticking downward. So that's good. That is definitely improving. We probably don't need to have all of these mobilized. So I'm going to demobilize this guy. And this guy. And also this guy. Well, actually, no, not this guy. I'm going to advance front out over here. Okay. So we've got a number of our forces demobilized right now. We're fighting here, here, and here. Yes. So this is going to be over very shortly. We're not actually able to press this Wargle. Okay. That's interesting. I guess we just need them to capitulate. But that's fine. There we go. They capitulated. Perfect. And of course, we're going to hop over here. Now, these guys don't need to be here. We don't actually need two forces here. So I'm going to demobilize these guys as well. We'll get that demobilization underway. Now, a lot of this is going into our additional expenses, right? But that's going to be ticking down over time. War with Azande has broken out, and we're just going to push through over here. No problem. I'm a little surprised that we haven't taken, like, we haven't gotten more out of Libya yet. Or I guess Tripolitania here. So that's going to take some time, I guess, but that's fine. We definitely do need to get out of these wars. And we need to deal with our economic situation right now. That's definitely a big part of this. So the question is, how are we going to deal with our economic situation? Well, we're going to continue to work on building these steel mills. That will help somewhat. And getting these coal mines underway. Our lead mines are actually done. The Guri Proletarian Revolt has started, and that's fine. And there's another native uprising against us. Okay. Well, these guys are right close to that, so that shouldn't be a big deal. We're still demobilizing here. The question is, do we actually need to pause our construction? I think for the moment, it's okay. Although these steel mills are very inefficient. Minus 75% over here. Okay, so Tripolitania is now over. Perfect. I want these guys, for the moment, to come down to Mongbetu. That'll be okay. We do have a rubber rush ongoing here. Rubber discovered in Jamaica. Cool. So we're not going to be starting up any other wars for a bit. We know that we have lots of time before our inf infamy will tick down. So that's okay. We've got Egypt and Tripolitania under our control, and we're just going to continue working on these native uprisings for the time being. It will take a while for our demobilizations to tick down. But that's actually nearly gone at this point. So that's wonderful. I'm glad to see that. Workplace Safety Office has moved up. And there is a secession growing. No shockers here. Where even is this? British Togo? Okay. That's going to take a little bit, but sure. Shouldn't be a problem. I would like to have these other wars wrapped up before then, but... We'll see how that goes. We've got these guys over here. We need the British colonization rights. We are not close to it yet. There we go. Well, actually, we are close, but we're not quite there. We weren't quite there. Now we are. So we're going to, of course, continue to work on colonizing just as fast as we can. No problems will come from this. Absolutely none. <laughs> so this secession is going to happen. Colonization of Sahara has finished. Cool. So, secession will occur now. And that's the Togo front out over here. Okay. I'm going to move these guys over this way. Beautiful. So, no problem there, really, whatsoever. War with Meng Betu has broken out. That's to be expected. And we're just going to easily crush this. No shockers there. And this is still building up. Yes. That's going to take some time. No problem at all. Okay. 
So the proletarian revolt here is virtually over. We're, of course, virtually bankrupt as well. That's a thing. It's definitely something that I'm a little concerned about, but we'll get that annexed over. And we'll see how we want to end up getting this fixed. I mean, we've got a while before these steel, steel mills are done. We know that we've got shortages of actually nothing right now. Okay, explosive steel, coal. We're working on virtually all of that right now. So we've got a bunch of coal mines in the queue for the moment. We're probably going to need to cease our construction. Yes, fairly soon. But I would like to wrap up these wars. That would be, you know, nice. We'll see if we manage to get out of the wars and get our troops demobilized. Keep in mind, we have conscripts up, and that's a big part of our problem right now. We still have our conscripts up from this. We've been in constant war. Absolutely constant. If we can get this done before this one breaks out, we'll see. But I kind of doubt it. I mean, they're still at 60 war opinion, or rather war support. So it's probably not going to end up happening. This is going to break out. And we've still got our conscripts up. We can't put down our conscripts early, can we? No, we cannot. So that's our major problem right now, financially, is our conscripts. Well, this war breaks out, and we should just crack through here really, really fast, in theory. I want to demobilize this guy and demobilize this guy. Because we don't need anything other than this done, right? So we're going to work our way through here. Cool. Colonization of South Angola is done. That's nice. Any moment now. There we go. So we've nearly full occupied this. But we need to get out of this war and get our conscripts back to work. Our GDP is soaring right now, though. So that's a really good sign for the future. But we are working on some early demobilizations. They're creeping their way down. And we just got rid of our flood relief, which is very good as well. This is now full occupied. Beautiful. And at this point... We would crush this secession. They're not willing to accept this just yet. But 413k is way better. This is a huge improvement. Excellent. I'm very, very happy to see that. Coal mines are making good progress at this point. We're through all those inefficient steel mills. So overall, I'm very, very pleased at what I'm seeing economically at this moment. They still have 442 reasons to not accept this peace deal. Fair enough. Let's get these coal mines finished up and online. Coal is still considered expensive, but we're going to be steadily reducing the price of coal, which is great. So our GDP is currently on a massive upswing. Keep in mind, we are still mobilized right now. We're still conscripted and we're only at minus 400K. That's a big improvement. That's a really big improvement. Open hearth process just finished as well. So let's hop over to that. That is going to increase the price of iron, actually. Noted, we're probably going to have a couple of issues with that one. That's okay for now. I want to grab potentially like rotary valve engines. Yeah, do it. We really need to get out of this war. And actually, they would accept it. Okay, we're out of the war. And we're instantly actually turning a profit. That's really good. And there's pump jacks as well. And oil was just discovered in Gabon. We can actually build oil rigs. Do it. Okay, so I want to go into our buildings here. And we have some production methods that we need to put in here. So explosive shells, yes, that would be negative. That's fine for the moment. Gas streetlights, I'm okay with for now. Public trams, yes, please. And for all of our plantations, we're going to have some work to do here, it looks like. Yep, automatic irrigation for all of these. And that is going to be huge in terms of income. I love it. Absolutely great. Do it. 
Yeah, there will be a shortage of engines. That's okay. Rail transportation looks good. And, yep, that'll do for now. For our ports, we're going to go down to cargo ports. Okay. So, there we go. We're a little bit bankrupt. But we're in a really good position at this point, economically, I think. Next episode, we're going to work on paying down that debt and getting our taxes lowered. You can leave your offerings to the engagement gods in the form of likes, comments, subscribes, and bell ringings. And a very special thank you to all of the channel members for making this video possible. Including ALS Gamer, Atala, Shadow Wolf, Mlohan80, Rogue Corvid, Andy Magar, Spartan News, Nick Smarty, Dimitri H, Punching the Microphone, Soccerman12UK, Kintogen, and all the rest. And of course, you. Thank you for watching. If you'd like to support the channel, you can click the join button down below the video. And as always, I will see you all next time.